What is DID? Dissociative Identity Disorder, formerly called Multiple Personality Disorder, is characterized by the presence of two or more distinct identities or personality states that recurrently take control of the individual's behavior, accompanied by an inability to recall important personal information that is too extensive to be explained by ordinary forgetfulness. It is a disorder characterized by identity fragmentation rather than a proliferation of separate personalities. With dissociative identity disorder, there are also highly distinct memory variations which fluctuate with the person's split personality. The alters or different identities have their own age, sex, or race. Each has his or her own postures, gestures, and distinct way of talking. Sometimes the alters are imaginary people. Sometimes they are animals. As each personality reveals itself and controls the individual's behavior and thoughts, it's called switching. Switching can take seconds to minutes to days. While the causes of dissociative identity disorder are still vague, research indicates that a combination of environmental and biological factors work together to cause it. As many as 98 to 99 percent of individuals who develop dissociative disorders have recognized personal histories of recurring, overpowering, and often life-threatening disturbances at a sensitive developmental stage of childhood, usually before age nine. Dissociation may also happen when there has been insistent neglect or emotional abuse, even when there has been no overt physical or sexual abuse. Findings show that in families where parents are frightening and unpredictable, the children may become dissociative. DID has been found in individuals from a variety of cultures around the world. In pre-adolescent children, particular care is needed in making the diagnosis because the manifestations may be less distinctive than in adolescents and adults. DID is diagnosed three to nine times more frequently in adult females than in adult males. In childhood, the female to male ratio may be more even, but data are limited. Females tend to have more identities than do males, averaging 15 or more, whereas males average approximately eight identities. The distinct personalities may serve diverse roles in helping the individual cope with life's dilemmas. For instance, there's an average of two to four personalities present when the patient is initially diagnosed. Then there's an average of 13 to 15 personalities that can become known over the course of treatment. While unusual, there have been instances of dissociative identity disorder with more than 100 personalities. Environmental triggers or life events cause a sudden shift from one alter or personality to another. Vicky. Victoria. <laughs> you okay? <sighs> what are you doing? Hey, get that camera out of my face right now. Okay, okay. Get it, calm down. No, just calm down. No, what the do okay. you think you're doing? Okay, you just calm down. You could film me, okay, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Huh? You told Stop. me I could. No, I didn't, okay? I, <laughs> I never mentioned that you could film me. Now get yes. that out of my face. Well, I'm trying to <laughs> The disturbance is not due to the direct physiological effects of a substance or general medical condition. Dissociative identity disorder reflects a failure to integrate various aspects of identity, memory, and consciousness. Each personality state may be experienced as if it had a distinct personal history, self-image, and identity, including a separate name. No, no, put that goddamn camera down. Okay. Or break it. You have to count of three to do so. All. Oh, oh, so help Wait, me, God. Who are you? You're not Vicky. Uh, no, duh. Who are you? Crazy lady. No, get out of my face. Do you have a name? Susan! No, what did I tell you? Vicky? Vicky? <laughs> hey. Hey. What are you doing? We've been filming. Uh, yeah, I guess I forgot my backpack. What happened? What happened? Well, 
just uh, sitting down here for the last, I guess, 15 minutes. Yep. So, what happened? Well, you... I was just on the other side. Okay. Usually there is a primary identity that carries an individual's given name and is passive, dependent, guilty, and depressed. The alternate identities frequently have different names and different characteristics that contrast with the primary identity. For example, they are hostile, controlling, and self-destructive. Particular identities may emerge in specific circumstances and may differ in reported age, gender, vocabulary, general knowledge, or predominant effect. You okay? Yeah, I guess. Is this that I told you to get that camera out of my face? I don't even know how, why you even followed me, okay? Oh now God. put the camera down. Vicky? No, I told, no. Once again, it's not Vicky. It's Susan, you stupid why girl. Why do you hate me so much, Susan? Let's get the damn camera out of my face.